Horses have been extremely helpful to people for thousands of years, serving a variety of functions. However, not all horses have the same characteristics. Some stand out from the crowd because of their magnificence, power, and uniqueness. Here are 20 horses that are born only once in thousand years. Number 20. Zorse. The name Zorse is a wide categorization that includes horse hybrids known as zebroids, animals of equine and zebra ancestry. A Zorse is born from the marriage of a male zebra and a female horse. While the Zorse has a more horse-like look than a zebra, it preserves the zebra sire's distinguishing feature, the famous black and white stripes. This zebra ancestry adds to the Zorse's increased resistance to various pests and diseases that typically affect horses and donkeys. Aside from its visually appealing and uncommon appearance, the Zorse is a sturdy and tenacious species owing to its unique genetic composition. The contrast of the zebra's rarity with only three subspecies versus the great diversity of approximately 300 distinct domestic horse breeds is remarkable. As a result, depending on the genetic lineage inherited from its progenitors, a Zorse's morphological characteristics might differ greatly in terms of size and color. Furthermore, the Zorse generally acquires its mother's disposition, endowing it with horse behavior and reflexes. The Zorse has a large head with an extended nose, as well as erect ears that transmit a feeling of attention. Its deep and dark eyes are framed by long, thick lashes that provide protective shielding against foreign invasions. The Zorse has short, coarse hair and significantly stronger limbs than other horses, as well as a noticeably darker mane and tail. The Zorse's robust musculature, along with black-hued hooves, gives it the ability to traverse difficult terrain. Number 19. Big Jake Big Jake, the famed equine behemoth, enjoyed the glorious distinction of being the tallest horse in the world and earned his deserved position in the coveted Guinness Book of World Records. His commanding presence, on the other hand, is now a distant memory, as he waved farewell on June 28, 2020. His loyal owners, who regarded Big Jake as not just a record holder but a vital member of their treasured family, broke the sad news with a heavy heart. They cherish the great honor of sharing their lives with this extraordinary creature. The loss of a cherished animal is always heartbreaking, and Big Jake's death hit home. His singularity extended beyond his amazing stature. He possessed an incredible capacity for love that made an unforgettable impression on everyone he met. He lived as a Belgian gelding at Smoky Hollow Farm in Wisconsin, USA, under the watchful eye of owner Jerry Gilbert and her loyal family. Big Jake made his mark in history by breaking the Guinness record for the tallest live horse in January 19, 2010. His incredible height without shoes was more than 20 hands, which means 8 3 inches. Surprisingly, his stature was the product of ordinary ancestry, having been born to two average-sized equines, Nonetheless, his meteoric rise defied predictions, driving him into monstrous dimensions. Number 18. Falabella Horses Falabella horses are not just ponies, they are actual miniature horses from Argentina. They may be traced back to the time when Spanish conquistadors imported horses to Argentina, and they exhibit harmonic balance and precise proportions. These horses, predominantly Andalusian Spanish breeds, were praised for their toughness and perseverance, qualities essential for overcoming difficult situations. Following the Spanish loss, these equines were left to thrive on the vast pampas, exposed to severe weather. Patrick Newall discovered this rare species and began selective breeding around 1840. He hoped to breed a tiny but well-structured horse by separating smaller horses from the herd. The resultant Falabella horses are endowed with curiosity, intellect, and love, making them excellent companions. Their amazing strength allows them to flourish in harsh climatic circumstances while requiring less care when compared to their equine relatives. Falabella horses, which endow their owners with a great sense of loyalty and devotion, must meet certain conditions in order to be considered real. Prerequisites include a genuine pedigree and DNA confirmation. These miniatures are normally six to seven hands tall, which means around 24 inches. Number 17. Curly Horses Not a plush toy, but a real horse with wavy locks. The unique presence of a Bashkir curly horse would be missing from a snowy environment or a lively equestrian assembly. 
This horse hails from the ancient and fascinating Russian Urals area and is endowed with a mesmerizing, naturally curly coat that conjures a sensation of luxurious fluffiness. In medieval Russia, Bashkir curly horses served as steadfast labor and travel partners, as well as providing milk for the preparation of kumis, a popular fermented drink made from mare's milk. These fascinating beasts previously roamed freely in the United States, mixing with mustangs and other horse types that traveled with European immigrants. However, the turning point happened in the early 20th century, thanks to the efforts of John DeMalle of Eureka, Nevada. The first reported Bashkir curly specimen was captured, tamed, and properly recorded under his supervision. The harsh terrains of the United States, particularly in the region where DeMalle worked, provided a chance for the Bashkir curly horse to demonstrate its unrivaled toughness. Despite the bitter cold of those frigid settings, the DeMail family marveled at how these equines withstood the elements. Their thick, luxuriously long and elaborately curled coats served as natural armor, keeping them warm in the brutal winter. These Bashkir curlies, which resembled enormous lambs, beautifully adapted to their habitat, a spectacle that seemed to evaporate as quickly as their luscious coats with the arrival of summer, only to be reignited with the return of winter. Number 16. Fjord Horse The Fjord Horse, originating in Norway, is a tiny breed with ancient origins, keeping a pedigree of outstanding purity and rare crosses. Its ancestors were primitive Asian equines who set out on a trip from the east to Norway, connecting the strands of its genealogy. The Fjord Horse's forefathers are thought to have carried Viking riders into battle, embodying a tradition of tenacity and usefulness. The fjord is best known as a strong draft horse, but it also does hard agricultural and forestry jobs, contributing greatly to its country's labor force. Its size continuously extends throughout time, a tribute to its flexibility and the changing needs of its responsibilities. Since the 1950s, this ability for harnessed labor has resonated across various Western European draft horse breeds, leaving an unmistakable legacy. Surprisingly, the Fjord horse has ventured beyond Norwegian boundaries. Its worldwide impact has reached Denmark and Germany, where active breeding programs thrive. Furthermore, Belgium and France, which formerly classified it as a pony due to its size until 2003, have accepted this one-of-a-kind horse. The Fjord horse's transcendent appeal stems from its standing as one of the world's most beautiful horses. The Fjord horse is technically and historically valuable since it not only has an antiquity that transcends time, but also preserves its genuine traits. These little yet adaptable laborers, who belong to the prestigious mountain breeds, have elegantly migrated from agriculture to different jobs. Number 15. Nabstrubber Horses The Nabstrupper horse has an outstanding face, marked by its kind demeanor and sensitive eyes. Its strong, straight-profiled head is harmoniously connected to a strong, gracefully arched neck. This breed is a paragon of strength and poise, with powerful shoulders, a straight back, slim limbs, and solid hooves. The Nabstrupper horse, with an average height ranging from 16 hands, which means 64 inches. The Nabstrupper, like the famed Appaloosa, is distinguished by a magnificent coat pattern decorated with distinguishing dots. This adorable horse is admired for its calm demeanor and outstanding maneuverability. These characteristics make it an excellent option for saddle dressage, leisure activities, and as a riding partner. The Nabstrupper's coat, an exquisite canvas of individuality, has received worldwide appreciation in the horse show world. The breed thrives as a driving or riding horse, demonstrating its adaptability. It excels at Western riding, where it demonstrates prowess and competence. The Nabstrupper breed first appeared in Denmark more than two centuries ago, towards the start of the 19th century. An intriguing origin story focuses on the presence of a Spanish commander in Denmark who left behind an Andalusian horse with a distinctive chestnut coat decorated with white spots. The mare, dubbed Flebehopper, ended up in the hands of a butcher called Flobe. Following matings with a Fredericksburg, the Palomino stallion produced a lineage in which each descendant inherited the characteristic coat. Notably, in the 1800s, a spotted stallion named Fulbehingston was born, proclaimed as the breed's founder. Number 14. JJS Summer Breeze 
Meet JJ's Summer Breeze, a horse renowned for having the polar opposite of a small tail. A tail so gloriously long that it has been inscribed in the Guinness Book of World Records as the world's longest equine tail. The incredible length of 12 and a half feet may raise concerns about a hurdle while galloping, but a smart procedure is in place to assure both comfort and safety. JJ's Summer Breeze's luxurious tail is neatly braided and snugly housed into a light tube sock outside the arena. This clever setup not only makes her feel more at ease, but also protects her. JJ's Summer Breeze, on the other hand, did not always display such a lavish appendage. Her tail was standard in size when she was younger. Throughout her life, her tail had an explosive development surge, eventually bestowing upon her the distinctive characteristics she now possesses. Close inspection reveals a partly chewed tail tip, a fascinating result of her luxuriant tresses occasionally making their way into her grazing activity. Crystal Sosha, her dedicated owner, oversees her fastidious maintenance regimen, which includes brushing her dazzling tail every two months. This intricate procedure takes an amazing three hours to complete, demonstrating the magnitude of the work at hand. Number 13. Belgian Brabant for true horse fans, the Belgian Brabant, also known as the Belgian Heavy Draft Horse or Brabant On, is a recognizable and cherished figure. This breed, which originated in Belgium in the early 17th, has a long history and played an important part in developing the American Belgian. Robust Brabant horses carried heavily armored riders and were renowned for their involvement in artillery and draft operations throughout the medieval era. Following World War II, European Brabant horses underwent intentional selective breeding, growing into a heavier, more substantial equivalent to their American counterparts. As farming methods became more mechanized, the market for enormous draft horses decreased, resulting in an alarming tendency to raise these giants purely for meat. Nonetheless, owing to the unflinching commitment of dedicated breeders, the Brabant breed persisted, carrying on its tradition as a dependable partner in farming, forestry, and fishing endeavors. The Brabant horse has distinct traits, including square heads with a straight profile, sensitive faces, and perked ears that emphasize their perceptiveness. These horses are examples of strength, with short yet powerful necks, broad chests, and robust backs. With muscular definition and big rough hooves, their limbs reflect this power. The Royal Brabant typically stands at 17 hands tall, and comes in a variety of appealing coat colors such as chestnut, bay, black, dun, blue roan, and red roan. Brabant horses are admired for their kind, demean our vivacity, bravery, and introspective nature, in addition to their beauty. This harmonic combination of characteristics produces great work ethic and obedience, making them exceptional laborers. Number 12. Choctaw Indian Pony Though addressed by its colonial Spanish lineage, the Choctaw Indian Pony has a fascination that is sometimes connected with the myth of wild horses, who are usually mislabeled as Mustangs. This extraordinary breed, made up of around 3,000 colonial Spanish horses from varied lineages, stands out. Only 250 purebred Choctaw horses remain, with a direct pedigree to the horses given to the New World by Spanish conquistadors in the 1500s. Indigenous people in the Deep South first encountered these intriguing animals in the 1600s, most notably during Hernando de Soto's and his daring Spaniards historical excursions. They set off on an adventure into Mississippi in search of the famous Seven Cities of Chibola, which were said to be teeming with gold riches. These enigmatic beings, known as spirit dogs by the indigenous Choctaws, left an unmistakable impression. Despite the subsequent conflicts and strife, the Choctaw people have shown extraordinary endurance, keeping their ancient lands and avoiding captivity. During this procedure, they also obtained a handful of the sought Spaniard spirit dogs. Because of their tiny yet strong structure, Choctaw Indian ponies were natural complements to tribal life. Endowed with agility, tenacity, strong legs, and sturdy hooves, these horses defied their 14-hand height, capably shouldering riders in races ranging from 50 to 100 miles. Number 11. Gypsy Vanner The Gypsy Vanner welcomes individuals who enjoy compact and elegant equine companions with its fascinating presence. 
This breed's enthralling tale unfolds within the rich tapestry of the gypsy population, with roots in the annals of Great Britain. These nomadic spirits wanted unwavering power and size in their equine mates, which were required for hauling their caravans. Their goal included not just physical strength, but also a harmonic balance of toughness, docility, and simplicity of training. The process of creating this perfect horse began with intentional breeding efforts, beginning with the Shire and Clydesdale breeds, which are known for their intimidating bulk and brawny physique. By incorporating the Dales Pony and the Fell Pony into the bloodlines, a steady refinement occurred, culminating in the birth of the Gypsy Vanner. The breed's identity evolved over time, balancing power with a kind demeanor. The Gypsy Vanner set out on a transatlantic adventure in 1996, crossing the Atlantic to honor the United States with its presence. This watershed moment saw the formation of the Gypsy Vanner Horse Society, which served as the breed's registration custodian, preserving its heritage and legacy. Gypsy Vanners are distinguished by their small height, which ranges from 12 to 16 hands when compared to traditional draft horses. Despite this, their strong structure makes them incredibly powerful, capable of both moving carriages and caravans and acting as mounts for riders of various sizes. Number 10. English Suffolk Punch The English Suffolk Punch Horse is a must-see among England's collection of magnificent equines. This magnificent species is an iconic figure, inextricably linked to the Suffolk countryside. The Suffolk Punch Horse, one of the four British heavy horse breeds, embodies the idea of hard labor, having been bred for its ability to plow fields, lug weights, and bear the weight of agricultural jobs. During the First World War, its remarkable power found use not only in agricultural tasks, but also in the laborious task of hauling artillery and heavy-duty supply wagons. Despite its wartime valor, the Suffolk Punch Horse faced a grave decline by the 1960s, when its number was decreasing dangerously. A clear reminder of this depressing reality surfaced when only nine foals were accepted into the 1966 stud book. A hardy handful, including dedicated farmers, stubbornly fostered the breed, initiating a slow recovery. Their perseverance paid off in 2010, when 50 foals were born into the world. However, recent years have brought additional obstacles, with economic changes casting a shadow over the breed's future. Nonetheless, the Suffolk Punch lives on as a monument to its timeless appeal and versatility. In 2019, 34 foals were recorded in the UK. Number 9. Percheron Horse The Percheron Horse is a regal steed that has adorned the battlefield while retaining a tenderness that begs intimacy inside its stately form. The intriguing roots of this breed, which originated in the Perche area of Normandy, France, cloak it in obscurity, with a few reasonable suggestions seeking to light its pedigree. Experts agree that the Percheron horse evolved as a hybrid from the merger of the sturdy Barb horse and the imposing Flemish draft breeds, with the impact of Arabian genes for heightened athleticism and grace. The French government's purposeful involvement in strengthening the Percheron breed during the 19th century leading its progress towards excellence as cavalry horses, is highlighted in history. The Percheron's size attests to its grandeur, with heights ranging from 15 to 19 hands and weights ranging from 1,800 to 2,600 pounds. Notably, in the United States, these equines normally stand at 16 to 17 hands, although their French counterparts vary in stature, owing to the differences in their bloodlines. Ample living space is required for potential owners to accommodate the Percheron's grandeur, emphasizing the breed's great proportions. Number 8. American Cream Draft Horse The American Cream Draft Horse, a real American product, is the only draft breed that was deliberately grown within the country's boundaries. The origins of this exceptional breed may be traced back to the early 1900s in the heart of Iowa. Since their start, these equines have carried an aura of rarity and mysticism. A cream-colored draft mare whose story began with her auction at a farm sale in Story County in Iowa. This trailblazing mare, born in 1890, became the forerunner of an outstanding pedigree distinguished by cream-colored progeny. A stallion called Silver Lace appeared among these cream progenies in 1932, casting a big shadow throughout the breed's history. 
Silver Lace, whose pedigree can be traced back to Old Granny, measured 16 hands tall and weighed 2,200 pounds, making an indelible impact on the breed's history. The American Cream Draft Horse is a medium to big breed with a height of 16 hands. Mares can reach up to 1,800 pounds, while stallions can reach an astonishing 2,000 pounds. Distinguishing characteristics include cream skin with pink overtones, amber eyes that reflect the beauty of the sun, and flowing white manes and tails. Their attraction is enhanced by random white patterns. Aside from their outstanding beauty, the grandeur of the American Cream Draft Horse makes them perfect choices for harnessing, hitching, and driving chores. Their natural personality reflects their friendly character and eagerness to work, making them an ideal breed for handling activities on small-scale farms. Number 7. Mustang the extraordinary Mustang emerges as a tempting alternative for individuals looking for a steed that exemplifies adaptability, hardiness, and perceptive intelligence. These equines, a symbol of untamed vitality, now live in the vast expanses of the western United States. Their ancestors are descended from Spanish horses imported by European pioneers, whose descendants traveled into the regions of liberty, forging a heritage that represents the soul of the American West. The roots of the Mustang are based on the interaction of history and geography, as some of these horses escaped captivity while others were emancipated or exchanged among Native American groups. The Mustang's indomitable spirit was reflected in their growing population, but their growing population created a problem as the nation's growth increased the demand for land and resources. The Mustang population peaked at 2 million in the early 90s, a tribute to their toughness and adaptability. However, this number has declined substantially over time, and around 30,000 Mustangs exist in the wild today. Mustangs, despite their reputation and the powerful echoes of their heritage, are little, standing between 14 and 15 hands tall. With weights averaging approximately 800 pounds, their stature betrays their real strength. The Cheval embodies the soul of the Mustang, an icon of American heritage and the indomitable energy of the untamed. Number 6. Nakota Horse The Nakota Horse is an excellent alternative for anyone looking for an equine friend who fits in seamlessly with their lifestyle. Aside from its low-maintenance nature, the Nakota has a slew of attractive characteristics that captivate the heart. With strong legs and solid hooves, this breed embodies toughness, which complements its remarkable leaping ability and nimble demean hour. These characteristics make Nakotas popular among fox hunters, where their agility and strength complement each other. The ability of Nakota horses to navigate their surroundings with an active brain that frequently leads to imaginative solutions is one of their distinguishing characteristics. These horses exhibit exceptional freedom of thinking in particular situations, a tribute to their quick-witted character. However, weaved throughout this cognitive capability is their distinct proclivity for creating powerful reciprocal ties with individuals they trust. This capacity to form deep ties adds incredible complexity to their interactions, making them extremely engaged companions. Nakota horses are not only intelligent but also representatives of compassion, bravery, and steadfast dependability. These characteristics highlight their position as dependable friends, eager to explore new territory and gracefully handle the complexity of human-horse interactions. Now, it's time for the subscriber pick. This bizarre horse has confused online communities around the globe. It seemingly has a very normal horse body in the front, but on the hind side there's nothing. The two-legged horse is seen running in the photo, but is that even possible? Let us know what you think in the comments below. Number 5. Akal Teke The Akal Teke, a millennia-old horse lineage, emerges as a compelling breed with a legacy that dates back thousands of years. This horse comes from Turkmenistan's Kar Akum Desert and is said to have ancestors with the famed Arabian breed. The habitat in which these horses were born bred them to be resilient in the face of scant nourishment, harsh temperature extremes, and the ebb and flow of desert existence. The symbiotic link between the Akal Teke and the nomadic tribes that shepherded them is a monument to the delicate web of survival built between humans and horses. 
the Akalteke's body matches its legacy of sleek swiftness, standing beautifully at an average of 14 to 16 hands, or 56 to 64 inches. This breed, which weighs 900, has the thin shape of a greyhound. Its remarkable beauty is enhanced by a fine coat that frequently bears the genetic marker of a cream dilution gene, giving rise to enthralling varieties like Palomino, Cremello, and Perlino coats. The Akalteke's ethereal charm extends to its eyes, with some individuals displaying a mesmerizing light blue tint. The alluring metallic sheen that covers the Akalteke's coats is a visual extravaganza due to the absence of the conventional horse's opaque hair shaft center. As a result of their coats interacting with light, they emit a bright glow that captures the attention of observers. Number 4. Marwari Horse the Marwari horse, a breed profoundly steeped in Rajasthan's cultural past, is a compelling and iconic equine noted for its striking look and extraordinary characteristics. With a centuries-long history, the Marwari horse has played an important part in the lives of Rajput warriors, lords, and traders, demonstrating flexibility, endurance, and devotion. One of the most distinguishing characteristics of the Marwari horse is its gracefully curled ears that connect at the tips and are sometimes compared to the form of a crescent moon. This distinguishing feature not only distinguishes the breed, but also has a practical purpose, improving its keen sense of hearing and making it a great partner for navigating the varied terrains of the desert Rajasthan area. Marwari horses are known for their tenacity and durability, in addition to their unusual look. Shaped by the harsh desert environment, these horses have evolved great endurance, making them well-suited for lengthy treks and difficult jobs. Their toughness and ability to flourish in adverse environments have won them a reputation as faithful and trustworthy companions. Number 3. Cheval Canadien The exquisite Canadian horse, also known as the Cheval Canadien, was so popular among Canadians that it was designated as the country's national animal. Its roots may be traced back to King Louis of France's stables in 1665. King Louis sent three shipments of Breton and Norman stallions and mares to the fledgling French colony at that time. The governor of the colony decided to ban additional horse imports in 1671, a watershed moment that fueled the establishment of a very successful breeding program, Me. The horses from the first shipments, as well as their progeny, formed the foundation of this program, Me. The Canadian horse proved to be extremely adaptable, adjusting easily to the difficult conditions of their new home. This adaption resulted in a slightly lower size than their forefathers, with the average Canadian horse currently standing between 14 and 16 hands tall. These horses have an amazing blend of toughness and symmetry, with strong bodies and steady builds. The Canadian horse's distinct physical characteristics contribute to its attraction. Their ears are small, but their wide-set eyes are filled with wisdom and bravery. The neck is lofty and gently arched, with well-sloped shoulders that add to the overall beauty. Number 2. Black Forest Horse The Black Forest Horse, which originated in Germany's picturesque Black Forest region, is a distinct and beloved equine breed that oozes elegance and flexibility. The Black Forest Horse, known for its beautiful look and gentle demean hour, has a distinct place in both history and present equestrian hobbies. The Black Forest Horse has a small yet strong physique, standing at an average height of 14 to 15 hands at the withers. Its beautiful chestnut coat, frequently complemented by a flaxen mane and tail, offers an eye-catching contrast. The beautiful and flowing feathering on the lower legs of the breed adds to its attractiveness, giving it great visual joy. Despite its small stature, the Black Forest Horse has incredible power and endurance. Historically used for agricultural work in the Black Forest's harsh environment, these horses are noted for their dependability and ability to undertake tough jobs. Their muscular frame and strong constitution make them ideal for a variety of agricultural and forestry jobs. Black Forest Horses have moved beyond their working qualities and into the realm of enjoyment and leisure riding. Their kind disposition, along with their calm and docile attitude, has attracted them to equestrians looking for a reliable and fun riding companion. Number 1. Frisian The Frisian horse, which originated in the Dutch province of Friesland, is a breed rich in history and revered for its grace and strength. 
The Frisian horse is a compelling and iconic presence in the equine world, distinguished by its silky black coat, luxuriant mane and tail, and feathering on the lower legs. The Frisian horse demands attention with its magnificent size, standing at an average height of 15 to 17 hands at the withers. Despite its size, the breed has a harmonic and balanced conformation that adds to its beautiful and regal aspect. Frisian horses often weigh between 1,300 and 1,600 pounds, emphasizing their large bulk and power. Their powerful body contrasts sharply with their elegant features, capturing a sense of force and beauty. Aside from its morphological characteristics, the Frisian horse is admired for its adaptability. Frisians have traditionally been used for agricultural and carriage lab hour, but they have evolved to thrive in a range of modern equestrian disciplines, including dressage, driving, and even competitive carriage events. Their expressive movement, high trot, and desire to work make them a desirable breed for performance and competitive riding. We hope you enjoyed this video. We'll see you in the next one.